You asked, I tested. Rolled oats versus steel cut oats. Who treats your blood sugar better? I've got my continuous glucose monitor on and I'm ready to find out. Hey everyone, it's Nia and you're watching Glucose Gone Wild. I created this channel because diabetes runs in my family tree. My dad is type 2 diabetic, my mom is pre-diabetic, and my grandmother on both sides, they had type 2 diabetes. So I'm here to flip the script on diabetes in my family tree and your family tree too. So today, we're experimenting with oatmeal. I made my first oatmeal experiment video and many of you said in the comments, hey, what about steel cut oatmeal? I heard steel cut oatmeal is the best. Well, is it? Because I've never tried it before. So today we are gonna compare side by side steel cut oats versus roll oats. So we can determine once and for all if steel cut oats are truly better than rolled oats. All right, let's get into this experiment. Now, my initial thoughts are a starch is a starch is a starch. I think that it's gonna do the same thing, but I am curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. What's, what do you think is gonna to happen to my blood sugar? Whether I have a larger spike with the rolled oats or the steel cut oat. So for the overnight oats, here's what's going into my jar. I've got this coconut almond milk blend. It's the same exact milk I used in the previous oatmeal video to make my overnight oats. I love this one because of the taste, but also the fact that it has zero sugar. So this will not be a contributing factor to a glucose spike. Next up, I'm gonna add some cinnamon, which does have some blood sugar stabilizing effect. But for the sake of this experiment, I'm gonna use it for flavor because plain oats, guys, oh my gosh, how bland. And lastly, a little vanilla extract, because again, for the flavor, people, this has no sugar added as well. So it will not contribute to a spike in my blood sugar. So let's get started with this experiment. All right, y'all came for me on my portion size in the first video. So this time we're doing it by the book. I'm adding four ounces of rolled oats inside the yellow jar. And in the green jar, I'm adding four ounces of steel cut oats. Each jar will have six ounces of the milk blend. Now I'm adding the vanilla and the cinnamon to the jars and I just give it a good stir, seal it up and throw it in the fridge. That is the beauty of overnight oats. It's practically effortless. You wake up and breakfast is ready. Y'all, look at that. My blood sugar is hanging on for dear life. I'm below 70. I'm really hungry, ready to get these oats in my body. At some point this morning though, I was a little above 70, but that's the highest I've been. So it's time to get these oats in my belly. This is my first time ever actually eating steel cut oats. I've never, it's never appealed to me. <laughs> Because I, I just can't get past the texture. I like the rolled oats. You know, it just seems easier, but let's see. That's different. I think this has potential. Okay. Steel cut oats. I feel like this would be ideal if it were cooked traditionally and not for overnight oats. Because that was a lot of work <laughs> to show <sure> that, <laughs> you know. But for you guys, I'm going to eat this whole thing. Mm. All done. Okay, guys. I'm still reading below 70 for some reason. I had my oatmeal today at 9.48 a.m. It is now 11.07. I'm gonna check my blood sugar with a traditional um, glucose monitor because there's, I do not, but I just don't believe it. I don't believe that the oatmeal did not really raise my blood sugar apparently at all. Like One, two, three. <laughs> Well, will you look at that? My traditional glucometer caught my fancy continuous glucose monitor slipping, y'all. 
So this experiment was a bust. All right, guys. My blood sugar is a steady 82. I'm going to eat these steel cut oats again. And we're going to skip to the part where I show you the results, okay? I'll see you there. One thing I really appreciate about Stello is how easy it is to order a replacement biosensor. All I had to do was log into my account, create a ticket, and explain what the problem was. And two days later, a new biosensor will arrive to my door. But the good thing for us is I had an extra biosensor on standby, so we could keep this party going. All right, everyone, the moment of truth is finally here. Here's what happened to my blood sugar after eating steel cut oats. So when I ate the oats, my blood sugar was at about 87 milligrams per deciliter. And I peaked about an hour after that at 120 milligrams per deciliter. I'm at 113 now, and you know what? I'm still within my normal range. I have my glucometer set to between 70 and 130. Obviously, my blood sugar elevated a lot, but here's the thing. It didn't spike, because usually a spike would look like a mountain and not like this beautiful hill we're seeing there. So although my blood sugar did elevate, because obviously we ate a starch, right? My body didn't freak out. And I think that's obviously because of the fiber with steel cut oats being less processed. Um, my blood sugar didn't spike, but it did elevate. So there's a difference. And I'm not feeling that awful crash or hunger afterwards. I still feel like pretty satisfied. So this was a great result. Hey guys, here I am with the rolled oats today. I have an idea of what the rolled oats are going to do to my body. But for the sake of science, we're going to compare side by side at the end of this video to see exactly what happens when I eat these rolled oats. Ooh, I know my continuous glucose monitor is about to snitch on these rolled oats. So while I was waiting, about halfway through, guys, I got a spike detection notification on my phone and on my watch. And it's telling me that rolled oats is doing the most to my blood sugar. Okay, everyone, let's break down the numbers. For the steel cut oats, I started off at 88 milligrams per deciliter and I peaked at 130 milligrams per deciliter. It did not cause a spike, but there was significant elevation in my blood sugar. And over to the rolled oats. I started off at 88 milligrams per deciliter, but I spiked at 143 milligrams per deciliter. The spike happened because not so much in height, but in speed. My blood sugar raised at a significantly higher rate in a shorter amount of time. That happened because the steel cut oats has fiber. So fiber helps slow down how fast starch goes into our bloodstream. But here's the beauty of this. Both steel cut and rolled oats can still raise your blood sugar guys. Do you see that? And it's very important, like we said in the first experiment, to air your oats with a protein, a fat, and a fiber. That way you'll see just the tiny bump in your blood sugar, meaning stabilized blood sugar levels, no crash, no hunger, and definitely no hangriness afterwards, right? So it's really important that no matter what oat that you consume, that it's paired with that holy trinity there, fat, protein, fiber. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this experiment. If you found this helpful, please subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when another video drops. And if you can think of anyone who has diabetes in their family tree, go ahead and let them know about Glucose Gone Wild. We're a growing community over here and the information on this channel can be exactly what they need to make meaningful changes to their lives. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate your time and I'll see you again soon. Take care.